What's up guys, welcome back to lesson 8 of our full stack MERN course, and today what we're going to be doing is going over server-side image storing. I originally had planned to do GridFS and integrate that into this final uh, episode of the series, but I decided against it uh, because the request E of the series actually didn't end up doing that. He ended up using a VPS instance with, uh, with AWS. So without further ado, we will get right into this. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is import the FS module, and you're going to npm install Molter, which is used as our uh, as our storage middleware. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating a variable called storage and setting it equal to Molter disk storage, and then inside of that is going to be an object with a destination, which is going to go to uploads, which is going to start with one file, and it's going to be our default user image. And uh, the file name as as the user uploads them will be equal to the user ID of the user .jpg, and what this does for us is that if the user uh, uploads another to change their picture then it will just overwrite the last one which just creates less uh, less it, it creates inherent garbage collection in, in our uh, server side storage essentially essentially so then what we do is we set a variable called upload and we set it equal to molter and we set storage equal to storage there and then we can see our first uh, our first route here is called get picture and what we do here is we read we try to read the file of the user ID in the request parameters and then if, if nothing goes wrong we send it back to them and if something goes wrong we send them the default user image so it's another uh, thing where it could be error handled on the client side or the server side but I just figured it would be better to do it on the the server side because if we if we wanted to do it on the client side for example we would check if the response type is an object because if it's an object it would be an error object otherwise it would be uh, the image data so that's basically uh, our first route here and we can see in our user routes we have uh, get the image here which is slash image and then the user ID is taken as a parameter there our next one is posting to an upload route which we will check down here it's pretty uh, far down I believe it's the bottom one yeah so in this one we use our middleware where we upload a file from um, or with Molter and if there's a request user ID we're able to use that right here where we had earlier and that's why we're checking for that is because of this middleware that we're using and then it uh, just sends them back the file uploaded or uh, error uploading so it doesn't actually send them the file back so now let's take a look at our client side code and see how this is handled so essentially on the user's profile we can see the callback that we have for getting the profile image it's just a simple get request to the endpoint we defined with the user ID with uh, the context and then this is the error handling I mentioned if we didn't have the conditional on the, the server side we would want to check if the response is an object meaning that it would be an error object and then we would just get the default user but uh, we, we, we handled that error in the server side so we can just call set image response dot data no matter what and it'll either do to the default uh, user or the user that they have so for our handle submit we create a form data object and then we uh, append the file to it and we have to make sure that this right here file is equal to this right here to make sure that it processes it and then we post upload and we attach the form data object and then we call a quick timeout and get the new image uh, on the profile and we can see change profile picture input type file name file and it accepts uh, images and well I guess in theory we'd want to do JPEG here but uh either way because I, I had that uh, JPEG hard-coded on the server side but you wouldn't technically need to do that in a real use case it was just uh, for brevity okay so going into our browser we're just going to create a new user called user1 I, I code 99 to, uh, the database before starting this just to get fresh tests so we're gonna sign up user1 we're going to log in user1 user1 and then uh, we're going to see that it first gets the default picture on their profile and let's quick just do post one hello other people and then we'll check the post here we can see it's loaded onto the post which I'll show you guys in just a second but if we go back to profile and we uh, choose a file we can see that uh, if we change it to this let's say it updates with the set timeout and then if we go back home we can see that it's updated on the post and uh, this by the way does allow us to click on the profile and it loads it as another person's profile 
because uh, it's using the React router syntax. But uh, if we wanted to, if we wanted to code this with context as a test uh, to handle that, we could. But uh, you know, you, you guys can uh, hopefully figure that one out at this point with uh, with the back uh, the context that we've had to this point. So let's go back into uh, the post component real quick. So in post component, like I said, we have the callback for getting the author ID in this case because uh, it's whoever you know made the post. And in this one, we do have the uh, we actually I never. Uh, I never changed this. We technically don't need this anymore because of uh, because of how I changed the server side code. So we would just need to set image response data because if there was an error, it would just return the default user anyway. And then uh, also, if we want to go into our backend code, we go back here. We can see that this is the uh, user ID and it's .jpg. And then if we were to change that back on our browser, it would just overwrite that simply. Uh, just with the ID. So if we go back into our code now, we can see the image has changed. And that's basically how you store images on the server side. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.